the SAT only asks questions about basic statistical topics. And those topics are mean, median, and mode. So what is the median? Well, the median is a middle number of an ordered list. So let's say I gave you the following lists. So 1, 5, 4, 3, 10, negative 2, and 12. So before you can find the median, you can't just look at this and say, oh, well, I've got 3 here, 3 here, so my middle number is 3. You've got to be careful. You've got to put them in order first. So let's do that. We put them in order, and we get negative 2, 1, 3, 4, 5, 10, and 12. And now I can go ahead and say, well, I've got three numbers here. I've got three numbers here, so my median is 4. One other way you might see this done is you say, well, cancel that, cross that, that crosses that, that crosses that, that and that, and all I'm left with is 4. So that's the median. One minor note, if the number of numbers in the list is even, Notice this was odd, which lets us get that middle number. If it's even, you just got to find the average of the two middle numbers. So let's say I had this list. 1, 3, 4, 5, 10, and 12. Notice now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4. So I don't have a middle number, but I have two middle numbers. So I would just find the midpoint between the two or the average, which is just 3 plus 4 divided by 2, which gets us three and a half. So our median would be three and a half, but that does not come up much at all if I don't think I can remember a time when it, in the SATs I've looked at where it happens, but just in case. The mode is pretty straightforward. It's just a number in a list that appears the most. So if I gave you the following list, two, seven, eight, seven, three, four, seven, what is the mode? Well, the number seven appears the most often in this list, so the mode would be seven. Now, unlike the mean and the median, you can actually have more than one mode. So if I gave you the list 2, 7, 8, 8, 7, 3, 8, 2, 7. I have 1, 2, 3, sevens, but I also have 3, 8s, 1, 2, 3. So my mode in this would be both 7 and 8. And finally, the more complex one of the three statistical topics is the mean or the average also known as the arithmetic mean. And the best definition for it is just to look at the formula. The mean of a series of a group of numbers, or the average, is just the sum of the values, so you add up all the numbers, divided by the number of values that you have. So let's just look at some examples. Imagine you're taking some tests in school, and you get the following grades. 95, 95, 100, 80, and 70. And you want to know what your average is for the quarter. Well, again, just follow the formula. Sum them up. <clears throat> so we add up these five numbers and we get 440. Divide by the number of tests we've got. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So divide it by 5. And when we do that, we get the answer is 88. So my average, my average test score would be 88. Now, there are other uh, types of mean questions. Obviously, this is a very simple example. Uh, the best thing to do is check out the math tactics series. That covers mean in some depth because we're going to find the main tactic for average and mean problems is to find the total or the sum of the values. Right? You want to find this top of the equation. And there's a lot of ways to do that. One is to you know obviously add up the numbers. But if you don't have all the numbers, if you just have you know the uh, the, the mean and the number of values, you can still find the total by multiplying the mean by the number of values. And again, I go into some detail with that in the math tactics series. So go ahead and check that out.